Doubles Pickleball Strategy 105. Serve the ball the way the pros do. Folks, most of us have been told to try to serve the ball very deep in the court. You find this advice all over the internet. Many coaches devise exercises to help players learn to serve deep, such as marking off an area near the baseline and directing their students to try to land their serves in this deep part of the service box. Some coaches go further to explain that this is how the pros serve, and some coaches will even rate players based on their ability to place serves deep in the box. Based on this, I would venture to say that you believe that the pros must really serve the ball really fast and really deep. But is this really how the very best players serve the ball? Let's take a look. Specifically, I will show you all 17 of the serves made by the winning team of Kyle Yates and Ben Johns in the first game of the 2019 Minto U.S. Open Professional Men's Doubles Gold Medal Match. Please pay attention to the depth of each serve made. The first serve hits about dead center of the service box. The next serve hits about dead center of the service box. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve gets about 55% of the way to the baseline. The next serve gets about 62% of the way back to the baseline. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve gets about 62% of the way to the baseline. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve gets about 63% of the way to the baseline. The next serve gets about 55% of the way to the baseline. The next serve hits about halfway back in the box. The next serve is not even halfway back in the box. The next serve hits about halfway back in the box. The next serve hits about halfway back in the box. The final serve of the game gets about 60% of the way to the baseline. The average of the 17 values is 49%. So for this game and this team, the serves average being about halfway back in the box. Let me tell you folks, this finding is not unusual, but instead is almost exactly the same as for all of the many professional matches I have studied. Most of the pros do not serve deep, but instead, on average, place their serves right in the center of the box. Here are some additional observations. None of the serves landed in the deep area suggested by many coaches. Instead, all of the serves landed in an area about like this. In the entire three-game match, consisting of 125 rallies, there were zero service faults. In this game, the team of Johns and Yates, when down 3-9, scored 8 straight points to win the game 11-9. Any service fault through this streak could have created a different game outcome and even a different match outcome since the other team won the second game. In other words, a single service fault can mean the difference between a silver medal and a gold medal. If you have the rather rare capability of being able to consistently hit the ball fast and deep without faulting, that's great and more power to you. But most players do not have this capability. Instead, when aiming for the middle of the service box and serving over and over again, most good 4.0 rated players cannot produce a pattern any better than this. So, if the target is moved from the center of the box to a location near the baseline, as suggested by many coaches, the result is a lot of service faults. 
Here's something else to learn from the pros. When you watch the pros, you will not see any wrist or elbow action at all. There is no wrist snapping or flipping the paddle. Instead, the paddle path looks more like this. As the paddle moves toward the strike, the paddle is square to the ball and the target line, and the paddle travels on the target line before, during, and after the strike. If you stand straight up with stiff legs, you cannot eliminate swing curvature. But if you bend your knees, use forward momentum, and use torso rotation, you can straighten your swing path through the strike zone. Watch the pros. They bend their knees, they use forward momentum, they turn their body, they keep their wrist firm, and as a result, they get a very linear paddle path through the ball contact zone. Here's another tip. Don't try to swing around your body. Such a curving stroke destroys accuracy. Instead, keep your elbow tucked in close to your body. Watch how the pros do it. Good luck and thanks for watching.